My name's Christian, this is Dan, Bowden Custom Builders. We're, uh, this is our first time using this product. It's kind of undulating, so we're going to have to do a lot of build up with the glue, which will be nice tomorrow because when we're working with it tomorrow, we'll be able to go around and tap here if we, here if we have any hollow spots. So if we do, that's when we either inject it with a little bit of foam or we back it up with a screw. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. You have to make sure you stay out of the crevices and you have it on the the most, the highest surface here, so your glue is actually touching the wall and not sitting in that crevice. Another thing that I also like is how lightweight it is. Yeah, I know, and it's just, it's not, it doesn't kill you to move this stuff back and forth, and it's just so much easier than framing it out. I just, if there, I've been doing this for the last 20 years, this is going to be the easiest way of redoing a basement that I've ever seen. This is definitely an easy install. I like this system here, and they'll be standing around waiting for their next piece of cut. No, so you want to be three quarters. He just said a half inch was fine. You're the one who said three yeah, quarters. Yeah, because it's going to be easier to put it in if it's a half inch, if it's three quarters. I'm telling you, because you have this lid here. This is bigger than a half inch. Can you? I didn't. I measured through the thing itself. All right. Where it sits at. Don't start. How many do we need to take upstairs, please? One, one, two, three, four. I'll tell you what. This uh, this is a much easier way of going uh, going basement. I mean, it's, I think it seems, seems like it makes a lot of sense. If you finger even tool wise, you only need about a quarter of the amount of tools. You know, you just need a couple of knives and a glue gun. I like the fact that this cuts down on how many times you have to actually go to the wall because you figure normally you would have to put your plates, your studs, that's that's already one application in the wall. The next time you have to come back and insulate. You know, you only attack the wall one time and that's it, you're done. This definitely increases production of cleanliness. It's production of cleanliness and everything. Wow. Nice. See how solid that is? Yeah. That's what I like. It's, just, it's solid. This is going to be the easiest basement that I've ever framed. Ever. Well, now, yeah, and the speed wise is incredible. It's, just, it's so uncomplicated that anybody could do it. That's the whole thing. And in a matter of, what, an hour, two hours, you're ready for drywall? I mean, it usually takes that long just to load the basement up. It's so easy to do it. It's just incredible. They go up so fast. I like it a lot better than having to frame it all out. I like to slam it, Chris. Uh, I'm just trying to keep it nice and that helps. Beautiful. No wings, no humps. And it's basically ready for sheet run. That's a It is. That's just there. so fast, man. I'm, I'm saying that. Honestly, it's honestly, it's not just because you're yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a damn good product. You definitely are on to something here. Yeah, I mean, it's just for just the average person to be able to do this and save the amount of money because I'm telling you to come in and, and do everything to buy the material, all the material that you need, opposed to just doing something like this, you're going to save a ton of money and, and you don't have to have uh, contractors and watch the, put this on the wall. Clean up. Here's clean up. A couple little pieces in a box. Yeah. And that's it. What a beautiful thing. The next basement that we do, we're going to talk about. Definitely. Good.